Shane Brown, 17. No, no, no. Chelsea! No, no. General! Get ready for left the one place, Chelsea! People, come back to the fixes. Boy, and I here with Javi, and we have an Android in the building. But before we get to that, we have to say big ups to our sponsors. I told you, I've heard about our cannabis and culture. Come by and for one of a kind experience. You can visit them at 10 AOS Kings House Road just across from the Canadian Embassy. Also, you can follow them on Instagram at Itopia Life or visit their webpage at itopialife.com for the latest info and strains and merch. This video is also brought to you by Pure24. Pure natural supplements designed to enhance body and mind. They make supplements affordable, effective, and easy to use. You can visit their website at pure24store.com. Their product ship worldwide. I don't know, say, can use that promo code fix to get 50% off all <laughs> purchases. That's promo code fix. <laughs> get 50% off all purchases. As I said, people have an Android in the building. Android. 17, 18, and 19. <laughs> <laughs> 17 in our building yeah. along with the rest of TMI records, you see me? Bless Stars. Us. See you there? Yeah. Blessings, blessings. Bless, 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 bless. <laughs> so, TMI, mm -hmm. name change? No, the last name, time we talked. Name not change. The brand just merged. Oh, okay. Shane Brown and Alison on with Stars and... Yeah, so we're Stars, TMI. Mm. Jukebox in one. So, how that work? Well, we have... The younger generation mm. working with the older, you know, people mm. in the business and it merged together to kind of have a balance. So, you know, we would have the raw talent. They been have the raw talent mm. and established themselves more higher in the business field. So we decided that we needed that experience and that guidance. So mm -hmm. we just merge it together because it's no loss. It's just a win for win. Mm. And it's working pretty well because Shane Brown and Alison Hunt are very respected, respectable people in the industry, you know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it was the best move we ever make for the year. Uh, it seems so because mm -hmm. you have several credits for some of the most popular songs I'm out there right now. Yeah. yeah we, you want to take the time over those real them, huh? <laughs> we, we have, because it's, it's not me. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have, um, couldn't do it by myself. And mm. it was never about me alone, you know. It was just me in the streets more. Yeah. One As team, a, one dream. Yes, one yeah. team. So mm -hmm. we, um, but I'm grateful still. Mm. Yeah, very. So really, man, for the yeah. team, though? Um, well, we start off the last year with God is Love. Yeah, last year, God is Love was our, our first. Real our first team. Team mm. effort. Effort, song, you, know? you know. And then we went Mama Love with Beres and Papi again. Mm. We also... What else did we do? Yo, we do so much things. I can't remember. Yo, and it, it all started off with, with Shane Brown, you know. Shane Brown really gave, gave us a... Direction the, the, in the direction, projects. Like, you know. I think we did do some... Uh, Jamil album. Bugle album. Mm -hmm. We have some tracks on them. We have tracks on a lot of albums as well. I just can't really remember all. Yeah. We did Bang Bing with Lali and Crystal. Mm -hmm. um, Jashi and Bon Tequila. So when we are step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we did the third eye rhythm. We collaborated it with Jamie. Bad rhythm. For the mm -hmm. experience as well. Yeah. Because Jamie was it was a rhythm that we started and we decided to add him mm -hmm. as a collab. And mm -hmm. it was executed properly, I would say, with mm -hmm. the hands of Shane Brown and everybody that's showing us the business side. Mm -hmm. So it was an experiment rhythm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it just show showcased a lot of young talent that year. They like Holy Pa Young, you just bust off of that rhythm there yeah, too, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So tell me something now. Several questions. Yeah. Um, When you say collab with Jamie, YVP them. Yeah. Like even the song, what, what that the TMI Records production credit is on. Wow, so see like, uh, you yeah, also see like The Truth, you see like YVP. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so how that work? Um, the Truth Records, right? Mm. That is, um, at the time, was Jerome. Still, Jerome, Buddha, and Shako. Mm -hmm. So, the whole of were like friends. You know, the whole of were like the same age group and thing. And, you know, some are older, some are younger. But we decided to say, yo, we are going to collaborate. At the time, Skeng wasn't really recording in Jamaica. He was in America. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the rhythm was basically done to us. Because it was Yaksta, Jashi, Nation, Boss and bugle mm -hmm. you know and we said all right time to 
then skin, skin came to Jamaica. Mm. Mm-hmm. As in came like the same day. Like mm-hmm. I can't lie, that was the realest energy I get from <laughs> Buddha and the whole of them. Yeah. At the time I tell you like see him as him reach, I think he was meds in the rhythm. And then one of my brethren named Tapalone. You know, Tapalone was telling me, say, oh, the DJ love your rhythm, you know. Mm-hmm. And the rhythm tough. Yeah. So we gonna record him and thing and we link up and them give me a good energy. And we record the song and Shane. This is Shane right there. Mm-hmm. Um, Shane. The part in the in the intro of the song here, to lose it all, my pain, my flaws. Yeah. Yeah. He sang that, you know, he, he was the one who sang yeah. it. Um, I, I, remember, I, I swear it was skank. Oh, tap the phone. Tap the phone. Sorry. Wow. Tap the phone. <laughs> you know, skank is super talented still, but you don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 The DJ. Yeah, the yeah. DJ. Yeah. You know, yeah. Mm. And yeah, so from there, he recorded the song. Um, the song the song was mixed by a lot. I think it was mixed with by Tap Alone and Days. We have a composer producer named Days mm. and Jano. Yeah, it was organized by them and Tap Alone. And till we get the final sound to how Skeng would have wanted sound because Skeng have a ears to him sound. Mm. Like him is a youth when no oh him more for sound. He's skeptic with that. So him trust certain producers for mix him song, isn't it? Mm. So we did try for work with the two of them mm-hmm. for see how it could have worked out. And we finally get a sound and we put the vocals of Shane mm-hmm. in the intro. Yeah. And that's how it came out. So when he did, when Skeng did the song, like mm-hmm. how you guys decide that you want the vocals on it? Can you know usually? I mean, the song, <coughs> soon everybody I got rich. It's like, you know, if you, if you, you know, somebody you, them just left college or high school or, you know, just some life experience, and you just say, "Yo, Jano, a time for a time for blessings that come." Like we see it, and mm-hmm. we're just happy. Yeah. But you know, what is there to remember still? My pain, my flaws. Like I need to remember it. Yeah. Remember, say me, me lose it all already. You know, mm-hmm. right? So me not go to me not go to hype or show off mm-hmm. for having it. No, it's just that soon everybody are rich. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's enjoy life. So that's why I'm put the pain part. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like I try to add like a little rod wave type in the dance hall. Yeah. Said we, you know, the yeah, emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've been seeing that a lot lately. A whole heap of well, emotional depression. Yeah, that depressed. Yeah. That, that was, yeah. That's why we switch it up. We switch yeah. it up with mm-hmm. different because there's a lot of beats there, you know. It's just what the artists them, the artists them should try for work on being more versatile. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. because you realize that they're trying to take away dance hall away from us. And a lot of the producers, them like, Wait, like, who's trying to take away? Yeah, who well, are I they? I don't want to point fingers, you know. <laughs> but I would just say that dancehall, mm. I think we taking away dancehall from us, mm. to be honest. How? Because we're not really be creative with the dancehall. Like, we're just, we're stuck in a one chopping thing. And we're just there. Mm. And then, you know, there's just few, like, look at Curves by Skeng. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell us, Curves hit in a Jamaica, in a, in a one club right now or so. That gone. I think in performance. Yeah, that you, see the yeah. you see the tempo yeah, yeah. and the vibe. Mm-hmm. Look on Jashi. Pan bro, come and Jashi have <laughs> Jashi have a song, you know, with um Shane Brown, you know. Mm. Um where you say one dance a song. You see, anytime that job, you gotta understand. Mm. Then him have you see like how him do oh Saga Bundong. People the vibe and then when we are step, it's like a different type of Jamaica love them thing there. Mm. Mm. And then I like the bang bang, you know, people love them mm. kind of. Dancing like thing, Octimple yeah. Dancing. You, you can't leave that out, so mm. you can't just do it every day as an artist. I say, chop in, chop, chop, and then after you, you don't know, you better you use that chop, chop word then after one dance all beat and try to create something mm. like look past Skilly Bang with the wap wap. Enough people are say, Yo, Skilly go foolishness, mm. and enough people are gonna say, Yo, it bad, but you have some people you know, who don't realize that him. He might follow him dance all pattern in a one really good sense, you know. Because mm. him don't him do steal out in music really and truly. And mm. then him, I'm him, sure there are others out there that would argue with that. Sentiment. Well, there's a lot of people who argue about that. Yeah. But we're not here for really argue. It's just based on what me I see as a yeah. producer. Mm. Mm. Isn't me because me can't argue with nobody mm. over the internet about this. You yeah. understand me? Yeah. The facts are show said the youth that the youth basically dropped wap wap in a one week, two weeks, and mm. he went on a tour. And it was the intro. And you see how the crowd basically do that. That to me, mm-hmm. me have to applaud him on that. It is to be pressed. Yeah, isn't it? Me? So <clears throat> it's interesting you say that, you know, they 
are, are trying to take away the dance and you know, something else mm. that you said that was interesting is the, the whole chopping thing yeah. uh, with, the, with the artist then some people will say that it's the producers that are furthering well i'm not the, saying the dismantling that it, of the dancer with mm. the type i'm of not saying i'm not saying that the, the chopping doesn't make sense like the chopping is a vibe like mm. it have it vibe the trap music what they want to call it because i know people going bashing for this chop we the need to find out what we are call it but yeah, a dance yeah. hall mm. it's just the younger it's like come on now your son in the future you think your son not really want i'll never soon. have a son ever <laughs> i'm, a, I'm <laughs> for life. Yeah. You think nobody i mean i don't think nobody children child want to really listen to yeah, certain yeah, thing. Yeah. i think they're going to be listening to all wap alone that's wap. funny you know, them just gotta listen to some different type of things. So you have to kinda I mean, with every generation there is going to be a different creativity, in, in, in brother. It's just the, a different chemistry. Is. But I'm, I'm with the people them um, that probably you call them purists uh, of the genre, they're saying that the whole vibe of things are changing. Mm -hmm. So so like uh people <coughs> from Shaba generation never really take on to cartel. But I'm gonna say, oh I dance mm. at dance at the time. Mm -hmm. No, it's like the sound they're saying is changing where mm. there's no more enjoyment well, out of. Okay, so not I, only are the artists and their styles but the producers. The sound and, and Can I ask there. you a question? Yeah. Like, mm. Really and truly. Are you here on earth forever? No one is. No. All right. And then you realize Unless that you're you believe in older, a reincarnation. And you're getting older and older and yeah. older and older and older. We have to accept we can't we, there's nothing we can hold on to. Mm. Like we we have to hold on to like our culture. And our sound and everything but like in a real life people have experienced different type of music it's true sing different type of song mm. i know some people that listen jazz all day mm -hmm. and to them it's like the most beautiful <clears throat> life they have and it's just a different type of world they're living in so it have people who have to experience some different the youth them have to do some different things so i'm not say them not for ch chap but like, come on. I don't say that either. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. come on. Like, make we Afro it up. Make we dance all it back. Make we yeah. bring Try back all some things. people like Elephant. And to man, your credit, yeah. your, your production uh, and team's production. Mm -hmm. is another one. Respect. They've still. been doing that. Yeah, this, from what I'm hearing. There's, like, there's been an eclectic vibe to the, to the works. Yeah. And the next thing to what I really want to say still is, you know, there's this big debate about the elders, them not being available in the industry mm. that's a lie right i think that there's a lot of elders in the music industry would that would a lot would like to help a lot of artists mm -hmm. and producers it's just sometimes even me you know even when i was younger like i did stubborn bread and like me just did a bill rhythm and them a bill rhythm give people people put it out people take rights people don't give yeah. credits mm -hmm. and he's an elder a big man we had to do business. Shane Brown did have to stop me from all of that, brother. Mm. In a real life. Or I wouldn't even dare. I couldn't even afford to live somewhere, brother. You understand? Because mm. if it's music, I say me I do. Enough you to go through that. You understand? In yeah. a real life. It's just humbling yourself, brother. You know, say you're going to do business with all some people older than you. You have to know, say, bro, you have to kind of apply yourself to kind of learn. It's not about the quick glory and the high opinion and the money, you know, brother. Yeah. You see, it? mm -hmm. it's about learning what's going on, you know. Like, for understand how to move. Like, brother, I know some elder when I'm there, around, them man, they are really musician. Like, narrow them man, they can call whoever in the industry mm. to Drake, to whoever, and say, yo, we are arranging this, and these people and them communicate. So that show you say they're doing music business, mm. not music hype. Mm. You see me? So we are trying to load a little style, a little bit. Even me, brother. Enough time, my uncle Shane, have to say, yo, you're too hype. Easier yeah, still. catching the hype. Yeah, brother, I'm mm. catching it enough. Brother, regular, I'm catching it. I'm a human, you know. Mm. You see it? I'm catching it, bro. Real as it gets. Remember yeah, the conversation so, I would have one out, one away. I'm going to say, I'm either getting out production. Yeah. Mm. I, I them the thing, I'm going to buy them. I don't want to get out of them thing. Man. I yeah, want, sometimes yeah. you want, sometimes you kind of want, sometimes you want to have a peace of mind. Yeah. Like, music make you have, have a character, you know. Yeah. That'd be real, really, you know. If you deal with so much people, because brother, it really. It there's take a lot, lot out there. There's a lot of mm -hmm. youth in Jamaica where I do music. Like, yeah. Brother, you can literally find every type of artist or song, like every type of artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just who get the hand there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So all when them feel like it's just money in the music, it's just really the links. Mm -hmm. And uh, where the links teach you, 
you see me? Can, can make you be a millionaire in a music. How are you learn? How mm-hmm. are you learn? From yeah, yeah, you, can, you can choose for learn sitting else from them. Yeah, know, I don't right? learn nothing that. You see me? Mm-hmm. But me, I, me I focus on allowing the hype for a year. Because when you do hype, the work them show. What is it for the year? For the whole entire life. But oh. just me I say. <laughs> me say <laughs> me <laughs> me journey. Hype, yeah, one year. Yeah. No, no, me depend on the journey. So me just allow it though. My family name came on hype one. Exactly. So me allow that. Two things I want to ask. So the first one is, you mentioned that you were stubborn like, mm-hmm. when you were younger. So how did you like move away from that or learn? To um, to be honest, money. Mm. Like <laughs> having money mm-hmm. in my hand, like show me that you know that just moving correctly mm-hmm. can make you can afford things, can make you live, can make you want to build an apartment in the town. You mm-hmm. know things to make you feel to move as a human. To say yeah, you know just leave Earth so. Mm. That make me kind of adjust. It God, God is one of the most, you know, first actually, mm. God and my family, isn't mm. me? Mm. I have to kind of humble myself, cause you know when you their own your brother the man thing, you kind of sometimes ego get it, cause you say why this man not chat to me sometimes. Mm. So I'm a family, she and mm. Brown, my mother, Jano, Diaz, brother, my family, Jashi. Yeah, Jashi, First Nation, Jashi. Yeah, mm-hmm. brother, that's my family. Willow. NSG, mm-hmm. Mappy, a them kind of just make me realize that 17, you can't calm down, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's easy, you know, bro. Yeah. And just everything in the world will come to you, bro. That's after that's normal. And from me take that route there, brother, I feel much better because I can't tell a man, say, yo, you know, say nothing you do no bother me, bro. Mm. <laughs> Just don't do it again still. Cause if you do it again, <laughs> me and you're not going to really Yeah, 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 yeah. For me, sure people right, respect right, you right. and your work. Yeah. Yes. Now I'm kind of more relaxed, brother, and happy yeah. cause People are dead quick. And mm-hmm. we live in our world where we're seeing it now. Mm-hmm. Like we can see it from our phone, say, man, somebody you know dead. Mm. Like, and them just post. So yeah. them thing that kind of don't make me really want to have nothing with people. I just want to calm down myself, you know. I want to talk more about the business I producing, but before we get to that, we can't no we can't leave out the big production, mm-hmm. Bang Bing. Yeah. Yeah. You see me? Who build the rhythm? Well, it's every one of you, you know. Together? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but deal was the oh, one so who started. So, so. Dilo was the one who started the idea in terms of the, the mechanics of the beat, like yeah. mm-hmm. from scratch, like the idea, the concept, because I want to tell you, Dilo is a man with, where he listens to a weird type of electro shit. Yeah. So when he was really having an experience with well, Shane Brown. How, how it go is, uh, well, we had the idea of having a high energy track, you yeah. know, yeah. something to just change the depressing music and the emotional vibe and just yeah. party, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Javi thanks you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Dilo really want to party. If yeah. they love party, you see? So, and then Shane Brown have the old school. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, so it's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. perfect blend. Yeah, so, we, and then we just put it together and then we just mm. say, you know what? Media. So, you yeah. so what you said inspired <laughs> the, the actual... Beat? Yeah. Well... I'd have to say Shane Brown kind of guided us in that direction, you know, because mm. he that we really... Didn't even, we didn't know. I just him just bring up the them yeah. man there is some <laughs> weird music lover. Like them man there are old school music lover. Mm. And you see for him, if you really listen to the younger generation and a vibe to it, you know, say him know the potential mm. of how something would have reached yes and all for change. So him now always up to some ideas with Alison. With yeah, Alison the two of them mm-hmm. always up to some idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then one you day... You always have me, the insight on how to improve the song. I just step on TikTok song, one man. day and I mm-hmm. made, 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 made all of the funny stuff. I'm just say bang, bing. Like all the gimmick yeah, stuff. Yeah, for my way, you say funny stuff. So. No. Gimmicks, I say. Oh, yeah, you say funny stuff. Right? Yeah, I forgot to scrap that. <laughs> 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 gimmicks, why? <laughs> just quiet up that. You know, the gimmick stuff. Where's know? my why button? <laughs> <laughs> my God. The gimmicks, the gimmicks, yeah. the gimmick stuff, the man. We just always laugh over the bang bang and the wee hoo, wee hoo, you know that one. Mm. And me, I say, oh, them thing, there's such a vibe. But the channel name again, um, NY. Oh, yeah, the, the, the New York channel have been popular, and, like mm-hmm. them thing there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. just them little thing there. Mm. Not necessarily they I get it from, you know, but mm. just I say, them thing they just have a vibe. Side talk. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just say, oh, you know what? Yeah, what a vibe. Mm. But the lyrics to the artist, them was nothing to do with the idea. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. them just all a vibe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I know that sometimes producers are involved in that process. But well, we were, we were fully involved in that process, you know. Mm. But I'm just saying that Crystal, 
mm-hmm. and Lali, mm-hmm. they were both in the same place at the time, England. Yeah. So they were holding a different type of vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the arranging and sorting it out and fixing it and making it sound was Shane Brown with the mixing and them thing there. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it was like full involvement them. You know, it was everybody holding a vibe together, like the whole team. Mm. The whole crystal side, our side, Lali's side. Well, Lali's actually signed to Stars, it's mm. the label mm. that is owned by exactly. Shane Brown and Allison. Mm. And we're part, we're signed to, so we're signed to the same label. Oh. Well, yeah, well, they're mm. managers for him, so I don't know if you could call that. And that Frankie was his manager. Frankie and Stars. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Frankie mm. is the main yeah. manager, it's all, you know? Yeah. So we're added, collaborated with them. So, so is it that? The rhythm was built, put together, and mm. then on a shop it out. No, we don't really shop our rhythm, you know. We mm. know who we want to record, mm. that's how we stay. So, like, how do you know? I just saw, me don't know, me have a weird <laughs> gift in the music, they have a weird gift in the music, yeah. But most of the youths, them, the real youths, them in the music, when know me and work and do music with me, mm. can tell you, say, yo, my mad. So, me know when something for sound like me, yo, me just tell you, say, yeah, come, me feel like all me do, I listen to music. Mm. Isn't me a whole mm-hmm. some vibe to it and just have better music in my life. Yeah, like as a life. producer, it's, it's almost mm-hmm. like you have to yeah, have a so sort of addiction to the it's thing. It's like me just, me just know. Cause you can ask them. You can ask them in front I, of me. Like. I feel like is is because of the range of music that we listen to. Listen to, to yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't so try to listen like, one. It's like when you hear a specific song, then you know, okay, that is for that artist and that's mm-hmm. how it goes. Uh, is that drugs dealer? <laughs> no man. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I, I well, know what sometimes what I make you ask me. Yeah. Process, <laughs> don't take offense to it. Oh God, people. A little bit of rum. <laughs> well, that's what I know. That fuels the creative process. Yeah, in any like way. it does have an iron moment. Like it nah. does. Nah, I'm gonna say because I'm the mean, but that's what I know. Like because nah, you don't say in, in this only part different shit. It looks so so weird. Let me tell you what Dilo. Dilo is like a. You know, uh, one bridge in there was just there and them own a world. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And just them like, them just uh, them don't make nothing bother them. Them just uh, live and uh, yeah. improve upon themselves. That's them usually up in how and musicians read. are and producers. Mm-hmm. Uh, he might read a man in time, you know. Yeah. Like law books and all of them things. Like, ah, fully yeah. educated, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The two of them. Me too, you know. But we, fully <laughs> 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 we fully <laughs> done. A little bit done. We fully done. No, man. No, yeah, but they're fully, yeah. fully yeah. educated, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Them man, they're like, Dilo, you don't say uh, about tech jobs, but nah, him just, him just hold a vibe. We, we come from a different place too. We come from Dominica, you know. Make it sound like that. I come from Dominica. Yeah, the accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we really, come from really Dominica. Place, yeah. Same Me Caribbean, too. but is a very different place from Jamaica. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're just cool. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. one person dead a month. <laughs> True. Uh, a real life, brother, that the life, they come like, yeah, they are heaven breast yeah, yeah, So why don't. Jamaica? I mean, yeah, yeah, Jamaica. Yeah, no, no, hey, hey, don't do that. Yeah, Jamaica, yeah, yeah, Jamaica is home. Mm. For no, the whole no, of it. No, no, yeah. no. I know, I know Jamaica is home. <laughs> <laughs> for the whole of it. Don't do that. Our why parents are Jamaican. Mine. Yeah. But we yeah. end up in, you know, doing dance. Uh, in and, Jamaica. In, in Jamaica. Well, ask Kiman tell you he's from Dominica too. And we mm. know Kiman from young boy, you know. Mm. So, why? I mean, he, and, he <laughs> and, no, in Jamaica for a while now. So when we heard that he doing his music thing, we link up and from that day is history, you know. Mm. I don't understand one thing Dilo just said. <laughs> but Dilo, do. Dilo, do <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> This guy, oh, a family. The whole yeah. way a family. And it's like the music just no say, oh, are we for just try this music? I, I, me never think say, we could have work with somebody in a music. A music people selfish you know? yeah, yeah mm-hmm. producers are selfish they have a little thing with them like be by themselves artists too you know they have that little yeah, yeah, yeah. thing like, just, sometimes, just, someone t- sometimes people I right, may have to come out of that phase sometimes people just like do them you know you just want to do your thing by yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it just never work out that way there. Mm. Yeah, you have to just let go that vibe there I realize you know? so you need people around yeah you need yeah. people brother like mm. me have to learn that so I feel like I never need people but I mm. need people you know but I need people <laughs> you know what I mean yeah, I just want them musical. I understand exactly what they're saying. <laughs> I want them musical thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like so, it's so, so confusing, but we get it. No, yeah, yeah, we get it. We get it. Makes it. sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, pan level. So mm-hmm. one of the build rhythm notes and the one Lolly and Crystal, just like and Crystal pan rhythm. Yeah, just like the Marksman rhythm with because the visa. Because she's from UK. Yeah, so yeah. How only you will get that link. The UK link for Crystal to be We're international, you know. 
Mm. I didn't mention that. Yeah, but how you knew about I her talent? Or could I see you say this? I'm gonna say, my shed the eye. No, but we can do. Come on. Uncle Shane. Okay. The man, they know everybody. It, <laughs> yeah. On the business level. But a real level, still no mm. hype. So Uncle Shane knew a lot of people, and Lali was the one. Lali, I think Lali and her are close, as in family. I'm not sure, but I think mm. they're family. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're family. Because a lot of family were there, and them just a whole of vibe. Yeah. Mm. So it wasn't even like a planting. So. I wouldn't even say there's no building link. It's just people were knowing people and something happened. Mm. Yeah. But Lali had recorded a song on the track before. Was that... It couldn't be the version that went viral on TikTok because... Yeah, the, it, the was version. One, it wasn't the version that went viral. On TikTok, mm. no. oh. it, the one, the only version that went... It's just him and Krista. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, the, that's the only. It's just that there was a little problem with, you know, it did remove and blah, blah, blah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. So with the, the rollout of that song, mm-hmm. you guys have anything to do with the planning, you know, it, it being released on TikTok or snippet re- being released yeah. on TikTok? The dance challenge. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't really talk much on that because, you know, we did business on that song. Mm. So I don't really want to talk about that, to be honest, because I don't really know much. I know everything, but I don't really know how to explain all of that right now. Mm. Like, it's a lot to say. It really is a lot to say right now. Super, but, super confidential. Josh. Yeah, super yeah, confidential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm telling a lie about it. Super confidential. Yeah. But yeah. How much money you gonna make from me? What? <laughs> <laughs> Bang big. <laughs> yeah, man. A normal free. Uh, but yes. but, but we are talking about the music I'm producing now, right? The business the side. Business, the business side. Yeah. I'm say the music I'm producing. Yes. The business side, sorry. Um, we've seen several artists and producers are falling out over the business side of things, especially recently. Um, one recently was producer slash manager. But to you, what is the biggest misconception that people have out there about the music or the business of music when it comes on to producing, mm-hmm. especially? I think we just don't know it all. Mm-hmm. And we need to stop coming into the business with the knowing it all mentality. Mm-hmm. Like, really and truly, mm-hmm. we need to stop that. Like on both sides, even the elders too. Mm. Like because I think if you want to be the richest man in the world, you know, or you want that status or whatever, mm-hmm. you have to invest in the future. Mm. Like your business, them have to be successful in every year I come. Like mm-hmm. you know, so unless you do illegal stuff, so in a real life, it's a combination <laughs> of the younger generation and the older generation just understanding. So. Some of the young youth them don't really re- like myself, don't really realize that um, it's not about just building a rhythm, putting it on YouTube, selling it. You have you can lease rhythm. You have to know the different. You have to know the rights. Mm-hmm. You have to know your mechanical rights. You have to know. You have to have a publisher. You have to know who you're signing to. Mm-hmm. You have to know the history about the music. You can link some. I know if, for sure if you go to Bondi Kill and you ask him about music, he might give you an answer, a sensible question about music he would do that i know i know a lot of artists too where are elders where i know i've asked questions about the music industry mm-hmm. and them direct me and then it happened until i reached to uncle shane yeah mm-hmm. but teach me the music business like daily like mm-hmm. every day i wake up like uncle shane and allison music business read you have mm-hmm. to know this and then they make life easier for your brother because mm-hmm. like so there's always no, something, something to learn. It's some, brother, it, 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 it too easy. It's very easy for a young man in the industry to just forward, get a hype, zero dollars. Mm. Regular, brother. Yeah, I wonder what, is, how this man sing a, big is, song. It's supposed to be a long-term game. Long-term, man. brother. Mm. You yes, see people like Sean Paul and Shaba and them man, they're like, you know, like them man, they can't broke back, <laughs> you know, mm. but you know what I mean? Mm. Like in a real life, them thing they show you say on cartel, show you say, yo, I'm over than all them people. They were. That's what <laughs> you know, it show you say like, them are do the business side of music. Why are enjoying it and feeding the fans? Mm. Them are educate themselves. And I re- and you know, I don't think nobody can lie about this. Everybody in the music industry should have a mentor. Mm. That uh, is know? true. That is and true. A, yeah. And a manager, and a manager. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, have a manager and, and don't, yes, there's nothing to lose. Don't make your little friend them tell you, say, don't sign to them on there, you know, because them on there are thief, you know. Mm. 
Mm. Keith what? Mm. For a man said to you, say, Yo, you have to give me 25 or 20 percent of your career or 30. This is a man I got invest money every day. Mm -hmm. Every day you live here. To make sure so you reach and, and align yourself in the right structure. I'm not saying everybody, you know, mm -hmm. you have to yeah. know who you're going to in business. That is true. That one serious thing, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, have to, you can't mix badness and them little things there with music, you know. You find so them things that happen enough. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to talk about that, but that's something mm -hmm. where, where evident. Yeah, you yeah. understand me? But mm -hmm. in a real life, me know say the man them smarter than 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 before because there's a lot of things they use phones google read up on them thing they like cut out those things out of the industry a little mm. bit right now please because there's a whole heap of tools out there that yeah man they yeah. afford it to them where they're they supposed them, to smart they them can make money mm. look on the, the nigerian artists them the afro artists them mm. you know them own a community them rich and them don't really have to do certain things you know mm. we can make legit money one might ask, so can I find a mentor? Who can I trust enough to be a um, mentor? I think, I think we're working on that with stars. Like our label. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like even me. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, I have to kind of cut that little vibe. The people link me on Instagram every day. And, you know, it's a lot to read still. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a lot of things to do in a day. But I realize how to work it out. So I realize I make a plan. So I can share that plan there to the work. If more of the younger generation them grow, I'm going to share this plan to them. You see, some of the youth, then we get the, the, the fame, the boss, mm -hmm. and the spotlight. The other engineers and composers that you're working with. Bring them, educate them with the business side like you. Mm -hmm. Work with them. If you want to sign them, you can sign them. Mm -hmm. And build them. Build a team. Mm -hmm. And build them. Right? Yeah. So it's like, if a young youth, if 10 young youth could link you and say, yo, even if them are, if them are pay studio time, if them are trigger in them pocket. Because I mean, if you like, say, when a man spend him money, him really see the benefit of him work. Yeah. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And him, and him, whatever him a buy or whatever. Mm. So, them spend a three grand, you charge a man a six grand for mix him song, him just a start. You already stop your little rhythm. You have some composers where you link with some little young youth where in a UA, you take and Calabar and them school they are left out. Mm -hmm. And you just work with them, build a little WhatsApp group and you just build them brother. You see, anytime you do that, it coming like a blessing them start reaching because you see when you stifle people, brother, <laughs> it's like you yourself are choke yourself, you know. Mm. So me realize that that can't work now in the industry. Mm. Communication, you like using your WhatsApp link, girl, <laughs> help you with them. So yeah. always just create a little group where you can remember, say, bam, bam, bam. Some little worker forward, you know, some little five, three bills US where you used to make. So yeah, I'm sorry, the man thing. I'd mm. say like, some little you too. Mm. I'd say if, if an artist wants a mentor, the first thing you have to do is actually have the desire to to want somebody to help straight. them, you know? Mm -hmm. Straight, that is true. Straight. Because no of them you ties your point out, say some of them, some of them, them don't want to listen or they don't want to. Brother, some of them want to feel attitude. like them, them, them don't need yeah. somebody to talk to them. Yeah. You know, everybody, the the whole, whole right. away, brother. Yeah, right now, me have some people mm -hmm. who helped me out before. Mm. Like, in the music, I may have a bridge named Staffel Newman too. Is it? He was a um he used to do music mm. and him have a run into a little situation, isn't me? And he end up stop doing it, but respect to him. Mm. Isn't me like all them people there, brother? You just show them some respect and mm. guide them. Mm. If you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, so keep it moving. It. And yeah. You, yeah, you just clean your heart a little bit. Hey. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, I know enough producers will give me strength and enough producers will rob me. Uh, yeah, so me, me go and give them respect. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, and another on. thing, sure, another yeah. thing yeah. too, a lot of artists they do things on their own. They like mm. to do things on their own. They do some people they don't understand the don't importance <laughs> of having a, a team with yeah. with people with unique set of skills to do certain things to like get the vision. I have ask you for, mm -hmm. for some people out there who probably want to get into music. Mm. Would it be more advantageous to to pre to be a, a, a producer or artist? In I your mean, eyes? there's more the producing an artist. You know, like mm. we need engineers. Mm. We need a lot of things. People that design stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, come on. We need, we, like, Diz. Even Diz was a produ producer, comp composer, yeah. engineer. Them and they build cover art, the sickest set of cover art, too, and deal All right, so let me ask this a different way. All right, mm -hmm. who get less taken um, advantage of? In the industry? Yeah. yeah. Less taken advantage of? Yeah. Artists. <laughs> less. <laughs> Artists get the less, they don't get take advantage of, bro. Mm. To be honest, I mean, they go through struggles, but 
on a platform when they reach or they reach, they set the thing or they want to set, they make money. I mean, mm. they're the, the, you know, there's producers who put themselves on that level by doing proper business. Mm. So when they put it, when they do proper business, you can understand what you are doing. All around. And a, a produce an artist respect you more. Because mm. you know, say, an artist always want to know, say, yo, I'm going to a, a track for Russia. You know what I mean? Yeah. As a young youth, I, she and I, something. Jukebox, something. So you want to make sure, say, you do the right thing if you kind of reach to that standard. Them, them probably would have said they get fight out more in the industry. Though. Me and mm. brother, the whole I will get, the whole, the whole get yeah. fight. The whole I will get fight. Right. That's that's that 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 whole heap of people but don't know nah, because oh no no really they are nah, the forefront more time for saying these things. So the artist is more out there and say, let me tell you, oh, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, first fight where me get eh. the first fight where me get, I because I'm not even asking one fight, you know, eh. I want blessing, you know, brother. Mm. Uh, is basically me, I do this music and me decide to I mean, I do no nine to five at the time. But it's a focus on his music. Because brother, I just wake up and just say, yeah, this me I do. <laughs> brother, you know, it's like how oh, you yeah, uh, watch TV and yeah, say, yo, Denzel Washington is a man where, you know, so the man is fully educated, like mm. super educated. As Even as an actor, you yeah, say, yeah, that life, the, that knowledge there and that power there, you want to can have it in your brain. Mm -hmm. So when my mother said to me, say, no, me need to start paying bills. You understand me? You don't know that or you start scratching your head and say, mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand me? But... Me realize, say, all right, bam, buck, I hey, don't no rasp, I don't want to cuss. I remember, I don't want to lie. But mm -hmm. remember, my mother tell me, say, yo, listen, no, you have to make a decision, you know, mm -hmm. in a real life. Like, mm -hmm. not for me, not me telling you, you don't have to leave here. or nothing, you know, but you have to make a decision. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And me, I just reflect. I let my neighbor, mother drop down the next day. Wow. <laughs> you see it? And she have a nine-year-old daughter and him around 25, 22. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. just reflect and I say, you know what? I want a real thing she had teach me, you know? Mm -hmm. If you go and fight, you know, you would. I just go out for my own brother, rent yeah. a place. Uncle Shane assist me with getting a place. Mm -hmm. You see it? As an elder, we never have to invest in money, you see me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you see, from that, just the responsibility and just no say, oh, brother, light bill and them thing they have to pay at them uptown place. Yeah? Mm. I'm ready, man, just work. Yeah. Work. Think I ain't pan a note there. Motivation. You see so everybody yeah, got you what them got you. Yeah. So I was homeless. See you there? <laughs> I, look, I probably, I saw him did a preach at the time, Javis. Yeah, Richie. Who me a fight him? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know my, my mother fight me at all. Come could I just dare my mother? My mother is not a broke a broke lady or anything. Uh, but it's just the words. Mm. It just scare me, brother. Yeah, I hear, I mean, I say, it's I like you're a preach, say, your mummy a fight me. I mean, but I know you preach as a I'm blessing. But when I'm a preach, me a mummy. I want to see a sister me without just scruff out, you know, but that's dead and live by your Canadian money, you know. You even tell you say you're not for you know, but... You understand me? Mm. So, them little thing there, and then the next thing too, you know, brother, I'm not going to say everybody going to have it my way of life, where, yeah, somebody going to help you mm. or something. But you have to believe, brother. You have some, you're there, you're there on some people, you're there on some people, and you say you don't like people. That's why I can't really relate to people where I say they don't like people. You see me? Mm. I'm a human. I'm going to deal with that. Because you have to deal people. You're there on some people, you learn some things. You're against nation, bro? No, nation are good youth, man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I want I, 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 I mean, no, <laughs> no, man. I'm just saying. I can't yeah, deal yeah. with that. <laughs> but anyways, as I mm. say, right? Mm. I said to you, say, yo, in a real life, though, right? In a real, real life, mm -hmm. yeah, you need people so you can learn. Mm. All right? So you know, say, you're there on narrow. You're there on she, you're there on Dilo. Javi. Mm. Javi. <laughs> I was trying to remember the name, but I'm trying to throw it off, you know. And Javi do forex trading. Mm. But you probably, you probably make all that, a little money, and you buy, a, you want to buy one of nice shoes, or an Air Max sitting on an Air Force, and go on road. Mm. But you can ask her, you oh, can flip some money, and then you have some people, you know, some little stock things, and some little, like I know a girl mm -hmm. that live, like in a, in a bad community, we mm -hmm. say Lysol, like Lysol. All right, no. When me go look, link mama, is a be my mama drive. Wow. In a the garrison, I move mm -hmm. and I build a house. Oh. So it's just the drive. Mm -hmm. You understand me? And just the belief, brother. So if you want to stand out, this is a wash care, brother. Wash care till you make your money, till you realize, say, yeah, me can build one studio and buy two box mm -hmm. and record myself. In a me yard, YouTube not charge nobody for put out music. Uh, it just charge you for promote. Mm. And brother, 
Just spend that money there on yourself and you will see. Uh, that enough for the artists and, them uh, do internationally. They have to see it as an investment in Yeah, brother, you have to see yourself as an investment. Mm, yeah. Look around the podcast. Your podcast was an investment. Look how far it reached now in other generations now. Mm. When you're old, you're going to depend on this. And now I'm old <laughs> now. I'm old now. <laughs> <laughs> when you're grey. <laughs> now I'm already grey. You know, you're not OG. Real OG. Like, you know. Real OG. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm good youth. The man there, the man there, the one I have to applaud that too. Yeah, I want to youth them to really highlight. Mm. You know, some of you them kind of go on like them now and give the youth them no interview. Yeah. And you know, so you always go so and get me seat with myself. Me see now call people where they next to me with, with all them, you know, bleach out foot and slip and say, yo, you need to shape up yourself you know, and do music. And me see him do that in my community. So me have to yeah, give that respect. Me, me go fight out the youth them. Yeah, yeah my yeah. hair go on, man. Yeah, Take the praise out the youth them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I from Dominica and not... The only reason I know some artists is because of this show. Yeah, you Straight. Know. Give that. So, wow. yeah, Give I'm that. international. <laughs> See, yeah, we, we look international to jazz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big up yourself too. Now, people don't know that mm-hmm. you've also provided the team. Yeah. Isn't it? For the podcast, no people even know them thing there, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're them, them, them big business deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big up yourself. Sure. You see me? Straight. What do people them can follow up on the socials? Make them know. All right, so we have official stars talent. Them two, they can say on the name on Instagram. My Instagram is producer D-L-O. Mm. That's producer D-L-O. Yeah. My Instagram is Shane St. Clair. S H A N E S T dot C L A R E. When I hear that people coming, yeah. I can just yeah. speak up the cool. Eh? <laughs> yeah, my name is Shane. My Instagram handle is Shane St. Clair. S H A N E S T dot C L E I R E. See you there. Mm-hmm. And 17 TMI. And then you can Android at Android 17. No. Yeah. 17 <laughs> underscore TMI. And you have jukebox. Mm. And as I say, stars TMI. One more thing I want to say. Well, mm. I don't know if you're going to ask me some of this, but. More, more and basically highlight some of the new youths to really look out for yeah, yeah, yeah. as producers mm. and artists in yeah. our industry and kind of just give them a listening ear, you know, and yeah. some of the youths them can go to them because I see them as young mentors to be. And I've met some people like Roddy Rock and Teflon and them man there. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know them. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, 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 what Rudy are saying for real when you read? <laughs> Rudy are teachers common sense, like mm. some. He's in business side. So, like some producers, like Top Alone, Three Kings Music, mm. mm-hmm. he just produced one part, um, Skeng and Navas collab. Yeah. And he might produce a lot of songs in the industry. He's just underground as well, like mm-hmm. myself at the mm-hmm. time. So, we are, it's over here now. Um, one big up Diz, Jano, Go Getter, mm. and. There's a lot more young producers. Big up Silence. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Silence and Russian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, big up Russian. See you there. Two bad um, artists. Yeah, yeah man. Uprising artists. So I do them thing out. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Big them up. You know? I tell you that I them there, bad. Respect, brother. Bad. Mm-hmm. Respect, respect. Yeah, and no credits to me alone. Credits to the whole team. Which is right. Definitely. You know? I take a team. But team just, look out, just look out for the, the youth them where I do. Just the elder them. Mm-hmm. Just that interview, if them really, you know, take it in the right way. Mm-hmm. Like, I appreciate because I see Queen Africa say something about the Bunty Killer and the Jasmine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you produced that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm I, I have nothing against what she said, right? Mm. I'm a res- respect Queen Africa, you know? Mm. Like, we can, we're never too hype in our life, mm-hmm. no matter how far we reach. We kind of say, oh, well, what am I say? No. I read what she has said, and I just want to remind her, I say, it's just the music. Mm. Remember, that our culture have the rough vibe. Mm-hmm. We have the cool vibe. Mm-hmm. We have the flavor vibe. We have the different type of vibe. And mm-hmm. as a producer, you you want to cater to you want them mix, type, you want those, cater those different in a, vibes. Yeah. yeah, you don't. But now I say you want to cater in a badness. Mm-hmm. But you know, if a movie, if a film in a Netflix, and then want to say, <laughs> when we a step, they will never. Better me want hear that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what me go hear? Me go hear holy party pop smoke. Me go hear holy party song with gunshot mm-hmm. tonight and little baby. But more I hear dance all. Mm. Mm-hmm. So whatever what she said, I respect that. But it's just music. Mm. Whatever individual choose to do with his life, brother, mm-hmm. a man could have be a pastor and be a murderer. Mm. A man can be a, a teacher and be a thief. Mm-hmm. So you can't watch what an individual really do. You have to just know so you give thanks. Mm-hmm. Isn't me and just do the right thing, you personally. So when we are step or just music. I think we can leave it on a note there. Oh, yeah. you have some message yeah. I was just going to add to what he said. Like, yeah. plus it's just content. 
content is content. You can read a book that have several violence in it, a mm. movie with how much violence. It's just entertainment. There's mm. nothing serious or personal. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You have it there, people. Stars, TMY. Big up Port more. Big up, big up, poor more. Big up, all of Port more. Big up, all of Port Yes, man. I don't know the thing. Big up, all of Port more. Big up, Dominic. Kingston. See, then big up, Dominic. Why VP Studio? Not Republic. Why we can't shell out? Yeah, man. Big up everybody, brother. Like every single body. No, some people, everybody can't get big up. Big up. All the haters, big up to right now. We do big them up all the time. Big up them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up Allison and Shane Brown. Yeah, big up Allison and Shane Brown. So if you guys want a mentor, contact Shane Brown. Pull up him DM. I'm going to feel like. Pull up Allison or DM. I feel like a mentorship. They will advise. They will. 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 Them people, they're really helpful, brother. Yeah, I know, yeah. you know, shit is a man who probably look like a man who's even dead people, mm. but they're helpful. So just contact, brother, don't feel free for message. You never know who might reply. That's true. Yeah, you know, long me message out. Those cat and them people are joke. Yeah. But you know what I mean? You <laughs> never, yeah. never go get a reply. <laughs> you never go get a reply. <laughs> nah, man, I like <laughs> One day. That's how I want, what I mean? Yeah, yeah man, brother. What I mean? Respect. Me? Yeah, man, bless up. 17, I don't know the thing, go away that people are the fix. Deal and Shane, big up yourself. Yo, big up on yourself, isn't it? Mm. Don't know, don't know.